And to our next presenters, I'd just like to say, as a famous Miss Frizzle from Magic School Bus said, take chances, make mistakes, and get messy. With that being said, good night. Thanks, Thanks for Fantastic time. work. And I think we now have the great privilege of hearing from um, some of the, 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 the old folks. Is that right? The elderly group. <laughs> Not quite but the older kids from um, Osmotronic. I'm so curious to meet you and to hear about your work. Welcome. Do you want to start please by introducing yourselves? Hello, my name is Bruno. Hello, my name is Bruno. I'm I am studying physics at Can you speak into the microphone a bit more? Because we're having a hard time hearing a little bit. Thank you. Hello, my name is Aurel, and I am studying robotics at Osmotronics. Hello, my name is Alexei and I am studying robotics at Osmotronic. Fantastic. It's such a privilege to have you here. Um, do you have a presentation that you'd like to share? Thank you. We have to show you a video. The video is paused for me. Marcelo, are you able to hear it? No, it's it's frozen. Oh boy. I think the internet is not working very well there. Unfortunately. Oh boy. So I think we lost our presenters for a moment. Oh, hello, welcome back. Hello, we're sorry, our computer is shut down. So we're That's gonna okay. continue with the cell phone, all right? Super, so happy to have problem solvers and innovators to yeah, figure out it's part of the to join, right? Perfect, welcome back. Okay. We hear you better this way, so it's actually a win. Great, so Abril is gonna say something. Uh, Uh, I want to talk about the touch sensor. The touch sensor is a device that functions primarily when a person touch a button or a screen surface. It's, it can be with a touchpad, with computers, with everything of technology we use touch sensors. In 1980, uh, the touch sensor had a big evolution. <laughs> Great. Uh, an example of a touch sensor is a touchpad. If you touch the, sur the screen surface of the touchpad, it it will be it will do sorry what you select. Thank you. Okay, Alexei, do you have a sensor available on your hands? <laughs> I want to talk about the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensors work, detect things at distance by sound frequencies. <laughs> I think. 
Bruno. Hello, I I want hello I want I want to talk about the gyroscope. A gyroscope is a device which determines the orientation due to due to Earth's gravity, and you can find it in a compass and a smartphone. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Great. Well, it, it it's supposed to. We're gonna show you some videos, right? But the computer is just starting up again. So we're trying to do our best to try to show with you the videos. On the meantime, we will we were talking about like the sensors that we're using a robotics class. So uh, if we have two more minutes, we we can try to solve this, right? No problem. We actually have more than two minutes. So please take your time. Would it be helpful for me to share a different video for two minutes while we wait? Yeah, well, we're turning the computer on and, and preparing the videos. In the meantime, do you have any questions about sensors or something about robotics and with this guys? I, pardon me. Well, basically, uh, the group from now, it's from ages from, what? what's your age? Uh, nine. Nine, Alexei? I am 10 years old. You're 10 and? I'm nine, 11 years old. 11. Wow. So we're working in different groups of ages here in robotics. And how long have you been um, programming or coding or working in robotics? Uh, me, I study robotics uh, like eight years old, but professionally only like a year here in Azotan. I I am studying robotic like five months, I think. Fantastic. I am studying robotic and hace cuánto tiempo? I don't know, since like one year. Since like one year. Fantastic. What advice do you have? What would you tell somebody who's your age who wants to try robotics? That is fantastic. It's so interesting. Uh, know how to program so different types of robots, robots, robot, sorry, uh, ways, but abilities, uh, uh, like five minutes before I saw guys of uh, high school that are programming with auto, and it's fantastic. It's so interesting. Okay, great. Well, I think we have online Mateo Montesinos, which is part of the, uh, the students here from Osmotronic on, on the same uh, room. If we can uh, share the, his screen, he's connected from other cities. So we're trying to, to, to get involved with Mateo, can you? Oh, I understand. Okay, apologies. Um, I've just asked Mateo to join as a panelist. Yeah. Um, so he should be okay. I did not know that he was part of this group. There you go. Here's in Puerto Vallarta right now at the beach. Having a good yes. time, huh? Yes. Hello, Mateo. Can you say something about robotics while you're resting in, on, on the beach? How's the weather? I'm hot. It's hot. 
Great. It's hot here too. Can you explain something about the, the sensors? The sensors detect um, things. Um, Mateo, can you hear us? Can you hear us, Ray? Yes. So we can hear you. We can hear you. Um. I don't remember a lot of the sensors. Well, don't worry about it. We're going to continue now. Apparently, yes. we, we have uh, everything ready right here to show you the video. Okay. Fantastic. I think probably we're going to do it live on this camera, right? So we're just playing in here. <laughs> Well, this was part of the video that we're uh, creating right now and coding right now. So, well, thank you so much for your time and your patience. We're trying to solve these uh, technical issues, but thank you. Everything is okay now. No, thank you. Showing us problem solving in real time <laughs> and for your commitment to, uh, to sharing your wisdom and your creativity with the world. We really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye.